Now, we've just had uh, a song about a prostitute. And uh, in the old days, in my day, of course, prostitutes and the boarding houses around the sailor towns of the world went together. What I didn't see was the worst of these places. They were bad enough. But from the old timers who, when I was a boy at sea, old men of 60 and over, would tell me stories about how it was a few years back. And this is how I got a lot of my material together for the book I wrote called Sailor Town. All these parts of the seaport would have ship chandlers, pubs naturally, Shanghai merchants, crimps, the pimps and their prostitutes were all within this area known as Sailor Town. Everywhere around the world, wherever you went, everybody spoke English in this area. No matter what part of the world you were in, they all spoke English, just in this place. And many and many a tale, there's so many tales told about what happened down these dives. I mean to say nowadays, I know Ratcliffe Highway here is, is supposed to be bad now. Uh, Maltese pimps and prostitutes. Not like it was in the old days of the Ratcliffe Highway, about which many songs were written or composed. They didn't write them, they just composed them in their head, old sailors. Now, this next one is about Shanghai. All the songs talk about Shanghai, but there's very few really give you the story. And Shanghai only, and this song does. You see, Shanghai, they'd, they'd Shanghai for years. The British Navy, they crimped which has come from a German word. But the word Shanghai was not used until the California Gold Rush of 1849. And then they had to get crews on these ships, which the men were running away like mad and leaving to go to the gold fields. And to find the crews, they used to use the crimps. And the whole thing then became known as Shanghai for the simple reason nobody wanted to go to Shanghai as a port in North China. Anyone after he got his bit of gold and that sort of they wanted to come home, he joined a ship coming around Cape Horn from Frisco to Europe. But there was an awful lot of ships laying around wanting to go to China. It was a regular trade, this was, uh, from the west coast of North America, Frisco and around there, to China. They used to take it across uh, cargoes of, uh, which is, it's forbidden now, sea otter skins. These were taken to the, the mandarins of China who used them for their jackets. So to get the crews for these ships, they used to have to crimp them, Shanghai them. There's one difference. In the old days, they used to Shanghai them aboard the ships under the name of crimping when they were short of men. But the fellas out in Frisco, they started the whole thing. By this I mean they caused the supply and demand, or the demand and the supply, which people before that didn't do. They'd go aboard of a ship as soon as, well, she wasn't in port actually, they used to meet her coming to the Narrows. Go alongside in their Whitehall boats, go aboard them, get all the sailors drunk before she made port, and get them ashore, promising them all sorts of wonderful jobs, which never matured, of course. And a week afterwards, they'd be Shanghai aboard of a ship outward bound. So it was a regular business, with a slightly different basis to what it had been in years before that, the Shanghai business. Now, this is called Larry Ma. He was a very well known crimp, pimp, but they were combined very often, in Frisco in the old days. Chorus may be a bit difficult, I don't know. In Frisco town there lives a man whose name is Larry Mar. And in the days of the Cape Horn trade, oh, he used his big stone jar in the old Virginia lowlands, lowlands, lowlands. In the old Virginia lowlands, low. In Larry's place, way on the coast, there lived old Larry Mar. Mrs. and Larry would prime the beer in the old five gallon jar. In the old Virginia lowlands, 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 in the old Virginia lowlands, lowlands. The fair 
they played the Shanghai game was known both near and far. They never miss a lucky chance to use the five-gallon car in the old Virginia lowlands. Lowlands, oh, in the old Virginia lowlands, oh. Shellbacks and farmers just the same. Sail into Larry Mars and was sent away round Cape Horn, held by the five gallon jar in the old Virginia lowlands. lowlands oh, in A hell ship she was short of hands, a full red blooded tars. Mrs. and Larry would prime the beer in their old five gallon jar in the old Virginia. Frisco Town, their names is known, as is the Cape Horn Bar, and the stuff they serve out to old Jack from the big five gallon jar in the old Virginia. Coast, dear claim me boys, and from old Larry Mar, or else stamp soon Shanghai you'll be by Larry's five gallon jar in the old Virginia. Hide away in a skysail ship around Cape Horn so far. Goodbye to all the boys and girls from Larry's five gallon jar in the old in tow. Try it. Sing in row, 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 holy row, and build a world in tow. 
Now when I was a youngster, I sailed with the rest on a little pearl packet far out to the west. And we anchored one day in the harbour of Cork. Then we put out to sea for the port of New York, singing, Row, 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 and little Julius had got us in tow. Now for forty-two days we was hungry and sore, and the waves were against us, and the gales they did roar. Of Battery Point we did anchor at last, with our jib boom hove in, and the canvas all fast singing. Roar, 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 for this roar, and then the world journeys have got us in tow. Now the boarding house masters was off in a trice, a shouting and promising, all oh, that was nice. And one fat old crimp, he got cotton to me. Says he, you're a fool lad, to fall over the sea singing. Roar, 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 bullets roll. Then there the world journeys have got us in tow. Says he, there's a job as is waiting for you. With lashings of liquor and nothing to do, says he, what do you say, lad, will you jump her too? Says I, you old bastard, I'm damned if I do sing it. Roll, 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 but it's roll, and there the world journeys have got us in tow. But the best of intentions, they never against fire, after forty-two days at the door of a bar. I tossed off me liquor and what do you think? Why oh, the lousy old bastard had drugs in me drink. Singing Roar, 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 what is wrong? And there the world journeys have got us in tow. The next I remembers I woke in the morn on a three skies full yarder bound south round Cape Horn with a hell suit of oilskins and two pair of socks and a bloody grey head and a dose of the pox singing Roar, 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 bullies roar and liberal duties have got us in tow. Now all you young sailors that follow the sea keep a watch on your drink when the liquor is free and pay no attention to runner nor whore when your hat's on your head and your feet's on the shore singing roll 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 is roll and then will judies have got us in tow Now, the next songs I'm going to do are uh, pumping songs. Pumping at sea was a constant job, particularly in wooden ships. We used to come on deck sometimes, four hours watch below, four, four hours on, this sort of thing they worked at sea. And there you'd stand at these pumps, this back aching job of heaving round. And that's why they had so many songs. Actually, they had so much pumping that there wasn't enough pumping shanty, so they used to sing anything at all. They came on the shore, all sorts of blooming I mean, local songs. They picked up the pop songs of the period, sometimes foreign songs, South America, uh, which they twist. Any uh, South American uh, Spanish, which they didn't understand, if it sounded something like uh, some English swear words, they turned the thing into English swear words. They were quite clever at doing this. One or two shanties are like this. I might, I might get around to them one of these times. Not just yet, perhaps. But this first one is very, very interesting because for many, many years, all collectors, including myself, we've all tried to get into the 1700s with shanties. We know there must have been shanties, but none exists. The earliest was somewhere about 1830 that we know of. Until a certain Danish captain, Captain Jenkins, 
sent me this one. The whole thing is a story of the mutiny on the bounty. It's not bad for sailor efforts. Fairly true. But, like he points out, no one knew after the mutiny of the bounty what had happened to the bounty and her crew. And it wasn't until 1807 that Captain Folger, in a sealer, and they were always in advance of explorers, found this island, Pitcairn, and he came back to Britain and he reported that's where the mutiny of the bounties, the mutineers themselves, were on this island living. So that puts this shanty on account of its last verse any time before 1806. But therefore, it makes it probably the oldest shanty we have. Now, this has got some peculiar rhythm to it. Of course, it's a pumping song, you see. And you pump a ship, there's a sort of a bar. How do I explain? There's two bars going up, one going up, one going down, a cross piece. And you go up and down like this. Any you go about the cutty sack, you'll see a thing there, pump, brake pumps. And it's jerky type of rhythm, you see. There was a latter day pump in which there was a big wheel which was more rotary. But this is uh, this one goes back to the days of the uh, of the uh, jerky type of pump. And now your chorus is Pump Shimp, Pinky Chimp uh, in the South Pacific and Pacific in the South Pacific. Right, we'll see what we can do. Bounty was a panky chimp, pump ship, panky chips, sailing on a cruising trip in the South Pacific. Billy Blight, the silly man, pump ship, panky chip, was a master in command in the South Pacific. He was growling day and night, pump ship, panky chip, whether he was wrong or right in the South Pacific. On the bounty were the rules, pump ship. Pack your ship, not for soft and silly fools in, in the South Pacific. And they answer for complaint. Pump ship, pack your ship, handcuffs and an iron chain in, in the South Pacific. Spitting on the quarter deck. Pump ship, pack your ship, punishment a broken neck in the South Pacific. They were troubles every day. Pump ship, pack your ship. Many sailors ran away in, in the, the South Pacific. And at last that Billy Bright, pump ship, pack a ship, where this crew began to fight in the, the South Pacific. Brawling, kicking everywhere, pump ship, pack a ship, iron pins flew through the air in the South Pacific. Mates and sailors in the night, pump ship, pack a ship, overpowered Billy Bright in, in the, the South Pacific. Pacific. They put Billy Blight afloat. Pump ship, pack a ship. With his madness in a boat. In the South Pacific. Bounty she went out of sight. Pump ship, pack a ship. Left alone was Billy Blight. In the South Pacific. Billy Blight he made the coast. Pump ship, pack a ship. But the bounty she was lost. In the South Pacific. Many gales across the sea. Pump ship, pack a ship. Sends the bounty sail away. In the South Pacific. Never was the heard a word. Pump ship, pack a ship. Of the crew that stayed on board. In the South Pacific. Thank you. Pumping song. This is from the rotary pumps where the wheel goes round, not the up and not the jerky thing. Now the tune of this is known throughout the folk world and other worlds too. My father used to sing a song, a Scottish song called Ring the Bell Watchman. The Welsh, any Welsh people here, have got a song, Tooth Back a Claw, which means the keyhole in the door. And uh, the other version is uh, from the shearing sheds of Australia. Click all the shears. But I'm going to stake, although they all say there's the oldest, I reckon that the sailors' song is the oldest a lot. And on the quarter deck, walking about, there is the second mate so steady and so stout. 
thinking of his sweetheart, and he's hoping she is well. But we wish that you would hurry up and strike, strike the bell, strike the bell, second mate. Let's go below. Learn well to win the jerk and see it's gone to the wall. Look at the glass, you can see it has fell. And we wish that you would hurry up and strike, strike the bell. Down on the main deck, working at the pumps, there is the larboard watch ready for the bunks. Over to windward, they see a great swell, and they're wishing that you'd hurry up and strike, strike the bell. Strike the bell, second mate, let's go behold. Look well to windward, you can see it's going to blow. Look at the glass, you can see it has fell. And we wish that you would hurry up and strike. Strike the bell! Forward on the forecastle head, keeping sharp lookout. There is Johnny waiting, ready for to shout. Lights burning bright, sir, and everything is good. And he wished that you would hurry up and strike, strike the bell. Strike the bell, second mate, let's go go. Look well to windward, you can see it's going to blow. Look at the glass, you can see it has fell. And we wish that you would hurry up and strike, strike the bell. Aft at the wheel, poor Anderson stands, grasping the spoke in his cold mittened hands, looking at the compass. And the course is clear as hell, but he wished that that old second mate would strike, strike the bell, uh, strike the bell, second mate, let's go before. Look well to England, you can see it's gone to blow. Look at the glass, you can see it has fell, and we wish that you would hurry up and strike, strike the bell. Aft on the poop, our gallant captain stands, looking to windward with his glasses in his hands. What he is thinking of, we know very well. Sure, he's thinking more of shortening sail than strike, strike the bell, strike the bell, second mate, let's go below. Look well to windward, you can see it's going to blow. Look at the glass, you can see that it has fell. And we wish that you would hurry up and strike, strike the bell. Thank you. I've got one more I must give you for the simple reason, you may know it, I don't know. The simple reason is the last shanty ever to be sung on the decks of a British ship. And I sang it. It was a big four-masted bar, iron. 2,000 ton carried four, 5,000 ton of wheat from Australia. But at the time she was sung, she had a sand ballast. And the sand ballast was wet when we loaded it. And the pumps got jammed with an awful lot of water on that. So we had to man the pumps. Now, this happened about four days before we were wrecked. We were wrecked on the Cape Verde Islands, a place called Boa Vista on the west coast of Africa. And uh, that was her end, a complete end. She, she never got off the reef. She went to sail over two reefs. Anyhow, uh, we had to man the pumps. And the song we sang was Fire Down Below. Now, there's several versions of this. Uh, there's a version I know is quite nice, the minor key. It goes something like this. There's fire in the cabin and in the galley too. To be way here I ho. There's fire in the cabin, but it's cold as the crew. There's fire down below. 
No. That's a minor key one. But I was a major key along with sang, so I better sing that one. She was just a village maiden with red and rosy cheeks. To me way, hey, he hi ho. She went to church, Sunday school, and sang his anthem sweet. There's fire down below. Now the parson was a misery, so scraggy and so tin. To be free, he, 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 I, ho. He said, look here, you shellbacks, if you lead a life of sin, there's fire down below. His text from Malachi, and he pulled a weary face from the way. I took French leave and I sailed away, and now I fell from grace. There's fire down below. Now the parson had a daughter who was sweet as sugar candy to be paid. I said to her, sailors would make love as neat and handy as fire down below. She said to me, you sailors are a bunch of bloody liars to me. Hey, 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 hi, ho. And all of yours is bound to hell to feed the bloody fires as fire down below. All oh, this fire in the cabin and in the galley too to me. Way, hey, 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 hi, ho! But there's no fire in the forecastle, lads. Cold is the crew. There's fire down below. If the bloody boats won't hold us when it's time for us to go, to me, way, hey, 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 hi, ho! We'll complain to have Lock Wilson when we get him down below. As fire down below. And so on, ad lib. Now go on. <laughs> 200 verses. Do you want them? Thank you. <laughs> well, I think we'll do a couple of halyard ones. Hoisting the sail. Now these, of course, some seamen will say, are the only shanties. A lot of old-time shellbacks wouldn't have that uh, caps and songs and pumping songs. They wouldn't have that they were shanties. That'd be a four-liner. Oh, I sailed out of Frisco in a full rigged ship to me way. Hey, ho, oh, hi, ho. I sailed out of Frisco in a full rigged ship I a long time ago. And a mass were of silver and a yard were of gold to me way. Hey, ho, oh, hi, ho. I am a swear silver and a yard were of gold. I a long time ago. Hey, we rounded Cape Horn and the sails they was torn. To me, hey, hey, oh, I go. We rounded Cape Horn and the sails they was torn. I a long time ago. Now in 1864, to me way, hey, oh, I go. I shipped away out to Singapore all a long time ago. And I fell in love with a young Chinese maid to me way, hey, oh, I go. She spent all me money before I was paid, oh, a long time ago. Oh, the bands, they were red, and the wedding day near to me, way, hey, oh, my ho. So I hove up me buttock, and home I did steer, oh, a long time ago. A long, long time and the very long time to me way hey ho I ho it's a long long time since I first heard this rhyme a long time ago
I'm going to give you an example now of a Negro shanty. You see, in uh, many English and American ships, they used to sign on two crews, one black and one white. They were known as uh, checkerboard crews, and uh, different to this modern world of ours, in the triangular space of a ship's forecastle, and there wasn't much room, the Negro and the white man got on together. My best man was a chap called Harding the Barbadian Barbarian. <laughs> and he loved it. <laughs> yes, Harding the Barbadian. He gave a lot of the shanties that you're singing now to me. And if, hadn't, if I hadn't have met him, you wouldn't have had him. That's the route he came, you see. So I like his name always. If I get a sh anything, I sing a shanty by him, I always mention his name on the platform, wherever I am. Harding the Barbarian. And there's another one, Tobago Smith. He was, he was semi-religious, he was, like a lot of Negroes are. You know, he used to go rock, walk around with a whole bunch of, I think, the Seventh-day Adventists, uh, literature under his arm, you know. Oh, he's some weird people amongst them, but they were great fellas, great chaps, great chaps. <laughs> I, I once knew a fellow one time, he was six foot six, and he was called Champagne. <laughs> and uh, this was on a schooner out of the island of Solution, the West Indies, which I was aboard. And uh, he had six cuts across his body where he defended himself against eight toughs in this ball house he got into a fight and he beat the blinking out of them beat the beat eight of them but he got all these these uh, razor wounds oh hello he was my guardian self-professed i felt happy when i was around him you know he was up there. <laughs> where the hell was i up to <laughs> that's right well now this is a uh, this is a typical example, mind you, there are a lot of silly words they throw in. Uh, you know, they're not exactly consecutive or anything like that. Now, you won't, it's, not, it's not very difficult. It's high, low, come down below. You'll, you'll get the hang of it. High, low, come down below. High, low, come down below. High, low. Put a bit of a jerk in it. High, low, come down below. Right. Oh, a blackbird sent in a walnut tree. High, low, come down below. Ping a pong in on his old banshee. Hi lo, come down below, send the blackbird to the crow. Hi lo, come down below, come down below with your black face crew. Hi lo, come down below, the blackbird sang and the crow went car. Hi lo, come down below, gotta set this sail by half past four. Hi lo, come down below. Oh, the crew flew, crow flew down to Mobile Town. Hi lo, come down below. Met a dark yellow girl called Sally Brown. Hi lo, come down below. Send the blackbird to the crow. Hi lo, come down below. Don't tell them yellow girls all you know. Hi lo, come down below. The blackbird flapped his wings and crowed. Hi lo, come down below. Why does a chicken? Cross the road. Hi lo, come down below. The sun don't shine, the hens don't lay. Hi lo, come down below. If we don't pull, we'll get no pay. Hi lo, come down below. One more pull, the old man cried. Hi lo, come down below. We've got to hurry for to catch the tide. Hi lo, come down below. That's typical of you. Now, there's another one in the Negro, but it's mixed, mixed up with Red Indians. <coughs> this is uh, a thing called John Cherokee. Oh, this is the tale of John Cherokee, Alabama John Cherokee, the Indian man from Miramahashi, Alabama John Cherokee, with a holly high and a holly yo, Alabama John Cherokee. Now they made him a slave down in Alibam, Alabama John Cherokee. He run away every time he can, Alabama John Cherokee. Oh, with a holly high and a holly ho, Alabama John Cherokee. Oh, they shipped him aboard of a Yankee ship, Alabama John Cherokee. Again and again he give him the trip, Alabama John Cherokee. Oh, with a holly high and a holly yo. Alabama John Cherokee. 
Oh, they caught him again and they chained him tight. Ah, the bandman John Cherokee. Put him on the main deck without any light. Ah, the bandman John Cherokee. Oh, with a holly high and a holly yo. Ah, the bandman John Cherokee. They gave him nothing for to eat nor drink. Ah, the bandman John Cherokee. All of his bones began to clink. Alabama, John Cherokee. Oh, with the holly high and the holly yo. Alabama, John Cherokee. Oh, on the break of day, his ghost is seen. Alabama, John Cherokee. Sitting on the main truck, wet and green. Alabama, John Cherokee. Oh, with the holly high and the holly yo. Alabama, John Cherokee. He goes below at the break of day. Alabama, John Cherokee. Oh, that is when the cocks do crow. Alabama, John Cherokee. Oh, with a holly high and a holly yo. Alabama, John Cherokee. John Cherokee was an Indian man. Alabama, John Cherokee. He run away every time he can. Alabama, John Cherokee. Oh, with a holly high and a holly yo. Alabama, John Cherokee. Thank you. Yeah. Now, this came from, uh, it's a Hawley song. It's been handed down by a well, white man, actually, who heard these three Negroes singing this on a ship, uh, which was coming from Philadelphia to Genoa a good many years ago. Oh, camp and camp. When you are a dandy, way hey, shiny, oh, camp and camp and you love your brandy, way shiny, oh, won't you ferry me over to Dover, way hey, shiny, oh, won't you ferry me over to Dover, Way shiny yo From Queenstown to Dover's a hundred miles are over Way shiny yo Queenstown to Dover's a hundred miles are over Way shiny yo Camp and camp and how deep is the water Way shiny yo she measures one inch, six feet and a quarter. Way, shiny, oh. Camp and camp and I love you, a daughter. Way, shiny, oh. Camp and camp and I love your daughter. Way, shiny, oh. Shiny, oh, the camp and Daughter, way shiny, oh, the hair I sail across the water, way shiny, oh, hen and chickens are flying over, way shiny, oh, when she pinches, she pitches into Dover, way shiny, oh. Rivers, rivers, rivers are rolling. Way shiny, oh. Rivers are rolling and I can't get over. Way shiny, oh. Now I think I'll do one that uh, Harden the Barbadian gave me many years ago. But John Kanaka. Now don't forget, this come originally from the West Indies, although the chorus is Samoan, and it's not too ry like it's on records all over the place. It's too ly it's a Samoan word, not, a, not an R, it's an L. And of course it comes from the country of rum. Now, the only thing about rum, because sailors always call it Nelson's blood. And uh, the story goes, you see, that well, actually, Frau, the great historian, wrote about the West Indies. He said, that, not tippling, much better word, the chief fuddling, fuddling, a great word, that, in ye islands, 
is called a rumbolo. And this was the original name, it rumbolo. Chief fuddling in ye islands. Don't forget, you know, rally. Up to that time of rally, you know, when they found the rum, they used to give the sailors beer. You know what happened? They had dysentery. And they lost all the battles. The Dutch beat us at the Medway. Everybody beat us. And all of a sudden, rally brought rum instead of beer. And we won every battle since. Well, now you know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> They've taken the rum away from the Navy now, so we won't do any bloody good in future, you see. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, when Nelson died at Cape Cabo Trafalgar, which is the Spanish way, mind it doesn't fit into it. was in Trafalgar's Bay, it doesn't work, you know, uh, the Spanish pronunciation. Anyhow, when he died off Cape Trafalgar, they wanted to know how they were going to get him home, you see, they did a bit of a job. They wanted to bring him to some Paul's or somewhere to bury him. So they did what you would do with a beetle or a centipede or something, you put in a bottle of formalide or some other fine thing. Uh, so. What was happening down through the years in sailing ships, particularly, they used to put aboard a Madeira wine. And they sent this stuff all around the world to be mulled. And all it came back to the port it started from. And it was put in casks known as monkeys. They sent Meersham pipes too, I don't know quite what for, but the Meersham pipes went all around the world and also came back. But the sailors found out a method of boring holes in these monkeys. <laughs> And inserting a goose quill or an albatross quill or something and sucking it out. It was known as sucking the monkey. <laughs> so now they put Nelson in this barrel of rum. There was two uh, marine guards in the front end of it. There was nobody at the back. And these fellows, they didn't know Nelson was in there. They had no clue. So these illiterate common jack shites, pardon me, go to the back of it and they bore holes like they've always been used to doing and they insert that albatross quill, whatever it was. And uh, this is why there's body in rum. <laughs> <laughs> and why that procedure then became known as bleeding the admiral instead of sucking the monkey. <laughs> And from that time onwards, this stuff's been known as Nelson's blood. <laughs> I heard, I heard the old man say, John Cacanacatillay. Today, today is a holland day. John Cacanacatillay. Stephen Foster brought out his Campdown races, but actually he didn't register it until about 53, I think it was. So now who's to say pinch from who? Oh, we know the sailors were singing this song going round Cape Horn bound for Sacramento and the gold fields in 1849. The, the finding of the gold was 1848. And you know what happened to you? They rammed the ships up on the beaches. There's no wharves in those days. And everybody ran away to the mines. But now, the ships that ran ashore, one became a jail, one became a brothel, one became a Bethel, and one uh, became a hotel. She was up in the sand, you see, left the high tide, they cut a hole in the side of her. This ran up on the beach, full belt. Everybody cleared off. 
And they cut the door on the side of it and they put uh, refuge for the weary and storage for trunks. <laughs> now this ship was the Neantic. And if anybody goes or has been to Frisco, you'll find a blooming great 40 story or whatever it is, hotel there called the Neantic. And that is built right on the top of this blooming boat. <laughs> Believe it or not. The Neantic Hotel is the biggest hotel in Frisco. And this was the start of it, this old boat they ran ashore. And of course, it didn't take long for Frisco to become a hell of a place, naturally, with these gold rushes. First of all, it was all men. Then they brought in 3,000 Chileno whores. Imagine what happened then. <laughs> then they brought another 2,000 from France. And when they came over, they had pimps in charge known as Macaro. And it is from this expression that everybody in America pats you on the shoulder and says, Hello, Mac. But they don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've mentioned the Chinese. The boat girls came over from China. They brought thousands of Chinese girls across and started the Chinese uh, Chinatown, which is one of the biggest in America, which is in Frisco. And the, finally, they came ticket to the leave men, escapees, is that the word, yes, from uh, the Australian convict settlements. They came over in the, in the droves. And uh, the area they lived in was known as Sydney Town. And when the whole place was a, one mass of fights and murders, somebody that wasn't attached to this, walking in the distance, say, Christ, the ducks are quacking in the pond tonight. <laughs> it was a terrible place. And it got more, worse and worse as it grew up and became the worst sailor town in the whole wide world. And this song was used in regard to this, uh, this sailor town in this period, the early 50s, Sacramento. And it's the same tune as, now don't go off into, uh, try and listen to what I'm singing. Don't sing, if you know camp down races, don't be going, you, you know, whatever the hell it is. It's slightly different. Go around Cape Horn in the month of May To be here To be here Go around Cape Horn is a bloody long way To be here To be here Long boys Long I can't hold I go Thought there's plenty of gold So I've been told On the banks of the Sacramento Oh, around Cape Horn with the main skies all set. To me, who da, to me, who da. Oh, around Cape Horn and we're all dripping wet. To me, who da, who da, hey. Love, boys, love, I can't hold my own. And there's plenty of gold, so I've been told on the banks of the Sacramento. Ninety days to Frisco Bay. Timmy-hoo-da, Timmy-hoo-da. Oh, round Cape Horn is a bloody long way. Timmy-hoo-da, hoo-da, hey. Love, boys, love, for a can for my own. Oh, there's plenty of gold, so I've been told on the banks of the Sacramento. Starvation and ease in the lime juice ship. Timmy-hoo-da, Timmy-hoo-da. Oh, we're the buckles going to make a trip. Timmy, who da, who da, hey. Love, boys, love, the can for my own. And there's plenty of gold, so I've been told, on the banks of the Sacramento. Oh, brush your bars and bend your backs. Timmy, who da, Timmy, who da. Oh, even make your spur ribs crack. Timmy, who da, who da, hey. Love, boys, love, her cat for my own. For there's plenty of gold, so I've been told, on the banks of the Sacramento. Oh, round the horn and up to the line. To me, who da, to me, who da. Oh, we're the buckers for the make a shine. To me, who da, who da, day. Love, boys, love, her cat for my own. Sacramento were bound away. Timmy Hooda, Timmy Hooda. Oh, Sacramento's a hell of a way. Timmy Hooda, Hooda, hey. Love, boys, love, the California. There's plenty of gold, so I've been told, at the banks of the Sacramento. Them day go girls, we do adore. Timmy Hooda, Timmy Hooda. They all drink 
Pisco and eggs for more. Me, hoo-na, hoo-na, nay. Blow, boys, blow. For it's bad or not, yo. But there's plenty of gold, so I've been told on the banks of the Sacramento. Oh, heave a ball and heave away. To me, hoo-na, to me, hoo-na. And make your paws and take your pay. To me, hoo-na, hoo-na, nay. Blow, boys, blow. Six hellish months have passed away in the cold Kamchatka sea. But now we're bound from the hunting ground, rolling down to Old Maui. Rolling down to Old Maui. Rolling down to Old Maui. Diamond head looms up on old Wahoo. A messenger's a sheathed with ice, and the decks are hid from view. Oh, the hellish ice of the sea cut tiles that deck the Arctic Sea. Miles behind in the frozen wine since we steered. For all now we rolling down to all now we boys rolling down to all now we we are homeward bound from the Arctic round rolling down to all now we how warm the breeze of the tropic seas now the ice. Is far astern, and the native maids in the island glades are awaiting our return. And the big black eyes even now look out, hoping some fine day to see our baggy sails running for the gales, rolling down. To hold now we are rolling down to all now we Our island home, 
A main yard sprung all wailing down. Hey, we ain't gone far to roam. A stanzel booms are carried away. What care we for and song? A living gale is after us. Thank God we're homeward bound. A rolling down to Omaha. Canakers all around with chants and soft aloha ways the green turns homeward bound and now we're sure we'll have good fun we'll paint them beaches red awaken in the arms of a wahine with a big fat aching head Rolling down to old Maui Boys rolling down to old Maui We're homeward bound from the Arctic ground Rolling down to old Maui Thank you.